Hello, I'm here on the Destiny farm. I'm in a different room, as you can see. And within this vlog, I want to speak about um, day 249. I'm sorry, 251. Why do I want to hit someone? And this is more on the vengeful character that I've been walking for some blogs and blogs now. So within this point of hitting someone, going to the point of desiring to actually physically hit someone in the reaction of anger, anger obviously this point of physically getting violent is unacceptable and if you're at this point you should really investigate what is going on within you to get to this point of actually wanting to hurt someone. So I'm going to share my perspective here and share what I've realized within this point so you know to give some perspective on this point um, of violence. So I found within this point um, it was holding on to uh, past moments that I judged as like someone was offending me or someone was doing wrong to me and like I took it personally. Based on taking it personally I built up a kind of defense wall against this person and my revenge within myself started to build and I see okay this person did this to me so now I have to get back at them you know they they wronged me so you know they're not going to do that to me so with this mentality of wanting to seek revenge on them and you know blaming them for whatever you took personally obviously if taken to the extreme will cause violence because that's what it leads to I mean the anger within you and you know this vengefulness is created through anger getting angry at someone so then you build up the anger build it up build it up build it up and if you don't release that um, it's going to release itself eventually because energy builds up to a certain point and it needs release. And that's where the energy outbursts go. And in those moments of energy outbursts and anger outbursts especially is when you go into that point of physically getting violent with people. And so... You know, there is, what we're walking in Destiny is these tools to support people to not have to get to that point of obviously physically hurting people or getting physically violent or, you know, physically hurting yourself um, to release this energy and release this anger. Um, the first, you know practical tool that you can use in the moments of these energies that are accumulating is breathing obviously just breathe through the energy and then you have to take it to writing and write out the point to see why you took things personally and to understand the reasons why you went into revenge towards that person or anger towards that person and there's an also also an added perspective or an added point you have to look at to see that and realize within yourself that you know you're responsible for yourself and you know it's not another person's fault because you took something personally I mean you're the one who's taking it personally so you can't blame someone else for something that happened within yourself I mean, each person has to realize that they have to take responsibility for their own reactions and their own, you know, points of energy 
reactions that come up, like anger or blame. Because um, obviously, you know, blaming other people and getting angry at other people is not going to solve the issue. It's going to lead to a conflict. It's going to lead to a fight with this person. It's going to lead to eventually physically harming if you don't, you know, control this point, if you don't walk through it and understand it and release it. Um, and so through the writing, you can come to an understanding with yourself why you, you know, blame this person or why you got angry at this person. I got angry at this person because they, you know, rolled their eyes at me when I asked them a question of um, something that was very important to me. And so instead of, you know, allowing this point to build and then, you know, you accumulate these actions, you know, you again take something personally and you accumulate, 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 and then eventually you'll burst out on them and, you know, go into that anger towards them and that physical possibly harm towards them. So in the writing you can write that out and find out why these energies are accumulating and then you can figure out the solutions that will, you know, release these energies. Like instead of going and fighting with the person, you know, go have coffee or in a calm state go and speak about it, you know, I saw you roll your eyes at me, like, why did you do that, what was the cause of that, and the person says, you only come at me when you need something, or when, you know, you want something from me, and you say, oh, I didn't realize you took it that way, um, okay, so let's sort this out, let's come to a solution, so it's kind of going to the, the conflict the person that you're in conflict with and you know being mature and taking responsibility for yourself and discussing the point and coming to solutions instead of making it come to a head with energy anger and harming each other possibly so the writing and the you know the self-forgiveness that we're using as well there's self-forgiveness and self-corrective actions through the writing to you know be able to come to that point in the physical with the other and find solutions in a calm state. Using breath is also a great tool as well. So, um, some points here on physical harm, why I want to harm people, and I have to head out now, so thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.